So, hey guys, what's up? This is Easy, and today I'm going to bring you guys another tutorial for... This is probably one of the best tutorials that I've ever actually made, because I'm going to teach you guys how to make a actual working bodyguard. Now, as you can see, on the other side of this cow right here, there is a zombie trying to kill me. And he's trying to pass through. I've blocked off the side, so he actually can't walk anywhere else but this way. But this cow on this minecart can actually is actually protecting is protecting me. As you can see, um, it's nighttime. I'm in one of my worlds. I'm just like moving freely around, and the zombie cannot get to me. As you can see, you can actually see him uh, struggling. Like you can see him trying to push forward, but nothing's happening because this cow is just blocking the way. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome bodyguard thing because it's actually working. I've literally stood here for like 10 minutes waiting for this thing to actually see if the zombie can actually pass through, but he can't, But um, which is awesome. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this yourself. So um, you can see clearly that um, the zombie cannot get to me, and I can't get to the zombie either. See, if I try to push my way to the zombie, um, the cow is actually going to try to block me, and that's actually not good because I, that's a bad example. So see, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the zombie, but I actually can't get to it. And as long as there's a as long as there's no cover above the cow, then I can't. Well, actually, yeah. Sometimes he can get me. Sometimes he can get me, but I can't get him. So that's the thing. So right now it's morning, and yep, the zombie cannot get me. So kind of sucks to be him. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it yourselves because it does indeed work, you've seen the proof, and, um, yeah, so all you gotta do is, whoa, sorry, wrong world, that's, that's not a good world, um, actually, no, oops, I, I'm just going back and forth, so, actually, wait, the zombie's still there, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, so, <laughs> let's go back to the super flat world, so I've already demonstrated this idea, actually, this is not a good idea, I want to block that off, uh, remove that. So as you can see, this is basically the just of the basic idea. Now all you got to do is put a rail and a minecart, get a cow stuck in it. You can do that by uh, attracting it with wheat, and then just call. Uh, make sure that the two sides are call uh, have blocks in it so that can block it off. And make sure that there's nothing on top of the cow um, because as you can see, I can pass through easily, and this just helps because. Um, you know, it just helps. So just make sure there's nothing on top of the cow. And as you can see, sometimes um, you have to get to the corner, and then you can obviously pass through. But zombies and other things can't actually get through the cow. Now this works is when he's when the cow's looking at say the the left side. You have to enter through the right side. As I'm gonna try, actually he's kind of looking behind, but you have to enter him from the either the left or the right side really really carefully. And this is actually the best possible bodyguard ever. Also, this also the reason why this is always also a really good bodyguard is that even if skeletons are shooting, the cow is going to take the damage for you. And um, even though it can't actually fight back, it can still do quite a number on the opponent. So um, this is kind of the general idea, but I actually have a really uh, better idea that is going to work better. So I'm going to show you guys the exact way how to make your own bodyguards. First of all, you need to have three rails and you need to have a minecart. So I'm going to get the minecart right now. Put the minecart like in the middle per se, and you're going to want to put any two blocks on either side. Now to get the cow, you need to have some wheat with you because this is how it's going to make your life really easy. You just oh, actually no, not the baby cow. We don't want the baby cow. We want an adult size cow because that's going to work a lot better so we have to get this cow away and we're going to actually no it's even that's even worse we need an adult size cow which is why this is kind of frustrating okay so now that you get the weed you attract the um cow onto the uh minecart and uh wait that don't work okay sorry yeah, you want to get the, the cow onto the minecart, like right here, and then you just push the minecart and get the cow stuck in it. So once, you do, once you've once you done that, then you can just block it off, and now you got the thing set up. But you can actually do something a little better. So even though I didn't do this in my survival thing, what you should do to make this a lot better is that on the side, replace it with some sand, like so. And uh, you want to put some cacti on the top. Now, as you can see, the cow won't be affected, and this is actually just an extra defense for in case when mobs are trying to get in, um, they will get hurt from the cacti. Now, I actually have not tested this out for um, survival, so I'm not really sure if this is going to work. So I'm actually going to do that right now and test my theory if uh, this is actually a safe idea to do it in um, right here. 
So let's see. I'm going to try and uh, test my theory out. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get some sand and some cacti. Um, I'm thinking that I have some here that I can just use. Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't see any cactus. Cacti, I mean. Sorry. That's the, that's the proper term. Um, but I have to test this some. Actually, okay, okay, okay. I think I know, well, no, I can't. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, well, let's see. When you're trying to, yeah, okay, yeah. So, sorry, never mind. Um, I don't think the cactus is a good idea, but, well, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I, th I can think I can think of a compromise. So if you're gonna make your own bodyguard, the cactus is probably not a good idea. But if you want to, you can do something like this. Uh, huh, yeah, that works out. All right, so that works out just fine. So you can do something like this now. Um, sometimes you don't want the roof because that's gonna not help when you're trying to enter the cap like past the cow like so. But um, you could you could remove the roof so it's a little bit easier for you to get into your little base right here, like that. So, um, what you want to do is that, like, basically, once you have the cow trapped, um, you can make this as, like, a door, and you can kind of customize it as you wish. Like, what I'm going to, what I'm about to do is just uh, put it, like, a sign, and just be, like, let's see, just E, uh, sorry, easy E only. There you go. And that's, uh, that's a pretty simple sign, wouldn't you say? So you do that, and then only you can pass through, like, so... And then once you do that, you can kind of build um, your own kind of shelter. So I'm going to do that right now, make a miniature, miniature uh, version. So, be But because I have the cactus right there, let's be careful not to destroy that. Um, hmm. What can I put here that won't affect it? I think that you can put... No, 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 I don't think kick will work. Yeah, kick's not going to work. But you, bas you guys basically have the idea for this uh, bodyguard thing. And it does work like really awesomely and oops I accidentally knocked him off right there but as you can see you just got to um, kind of build your base around this door area and then as I'm going to show you again from the actual test um, the zombie just can't get to me so in fact I'm going to actually just lower these uh, these walls right here because that's not really necessary and you guys are going to see that this zombie is just unable to um, do anything to me which is kind of sad <laughs> sad for you and look at that, he's like jumping up and down, he just can't get to me. And the only way, oh, oh never mind, oh, mess, messed up, messed up, messed up. Okay, that's why you don't want to do that, don't do that. If you remove the, if you remove the uh, block from the minecart, then it's definitely going to get you. So that was kind of a mistake on my part, but I'm, that's, that's okay, because uh, you guys can see, so don't do that, just that's a warning for you guys. So I have to put the minecart back in place, if I can. I don't think I can. Actually, yes, I did. Okay, there you go. And, uh, yeah, so you just do that. That's your own bodyguard. And that's how you make a working bodyguard. So, yeah, that's all I can say for it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this uh, video, how to make your own working bodyguard. This works with any... Well, actually, just saying right now, um, this will work best with cows because cows are the biggest animals. And as you can see, they will knock back any almost anything. And, of course, you can you, you yourself can get through. You just got to be careful, like, uh, let's put these back on. You want to get through. A little bit feisty at first, so uh, just let me get through, and there you go. You can get through, and then you can also get out if you wish. And then mobs will easily deflect off any, uh, this, mobs can't even get in. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy. Leave a, leave a like if you like the comments. Sorry that I'm talking a little bit in a weird voice. But yeah, that's basically how you make your own bodyguard, working bodyguard. Remember, cows. Cows are the w most important thing for this uh, thing. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and later with my bodyguard. Yeah.